Welcome to Walker's Market Weekly. I'm R.K. Walker coming to you from my home while the New York Stock Exchange's floor is temporarily closed, bringing you a review of this week's stock market. On Monday, markets opened sharply lower and ultimately fell even further on weakness in the energy sector. Thanks to extremely low demand for crude oil, futures that were close to expiration plunged into negative prices for the first time ever. The Dow Industrials closed 592 points lower. However, gold rose eight tenths of a percent to $1,696 an ounce. On Tuesday, existing home sales for March fell 8.5% to an annualized rate of 5.27 million units. The Senate passed a $484 billion relief package for small businesses, which includes $320 billion in additional funding for the Paycheck Protection Program. Previous funding ran out last week. Unconfirmed reports surfaced that North Korean leader Kim Jong-un was in grave condition after a medical procedure as oil continued to tank with West Texas intermediate crude falling 35% to $13.20 a barrel. Once again, markets ended sharply lower with the Dow Industrials losing 631 points. On Wednesday, the EIA Petroleum Status Report for the weekending April 17th saw crude oil inventory rise 15 million barrels. Nevertheless, West Texas Intermediate Crude rose 19% to $13.78 per barrel, in part after President Trump tweeted that he instructed the U.S. Navy to shoot and destroy Iranian gunboats if they harass our ships. Markets rose with the Dow Industrials jumping 456 points on what some analysts are calling a buy-on-the-dip mentality. On Thursday, jobless claims for the week ending April 18th were 4.4 million, declining by 810,000 from the previous week. However, the five-week total of job losses has now exceeded all of the job gains since the last recession in 2007. New home sales for March were an annualized 627,000 units, down 114,000, while the PMI flash for April fell into severe contraction territory at 27.4. The Dow Industrials was up as much as 400 points, but gave up most gains after reports surfaced that a potential COVID-19 treatment made by Gilead Sciences didn't do very well in its first randomized clinical trial. Oil was up strongly with West Texas Intermediate Crude rising 23% to $17 a barrel, and gold increased 1.1% to $1,731 an ounce. On Friday morning, durable goods orders for March declined 14.4%. Oil continued trending higher as investors bet that U.S. producers would keep cutting production and West Texas intermediate crude rose over 6.5% shortly after the open. Markets opened little change as Congress approved an additional $484 billion economic aid package and sent it to President Trump for signing. This is Walker's Market Weekly. I'm R.K. Walker, and I'll see you again next week.